In today's video, I'm going to show you how to add extensions to Safari on your Mac. The first thing you need to do is to click on the Apple logo in the top left, and then you want to click on App Store. Once the application store has opened up, we want to navigate to the extensions. To do this, you want to click on Categories on the left hand side menu, and here you will see the category Safari extensions, and you want to click into that. From here, you'll be able to manually browse all of the extensions that are available for Safari. However, if you want to search for a specific extension, you want to click on the search bar in the top left, and then you want to search for the extension you want. In this case, I'm going to search for AdGuard. Once you're ready, you want to find the extension you want, which is the AdGuard Safari extension, and here we can read more about it. Once you're ready, you want to click on Get, and then you want to click on Install. Now, you may need to verify with Touch ID or your iCloud password, and once you've done this, the Safari extension will start downloading and it will be installed to your Safari web browser. Once the extension has been downloaded and installed, it should automatically activate on your Safari web browser. However, we can double check this by going to our Safari web browser, and from here, you want to click on the Safari tab at the very top, and then you want to click into Settings. Once you're in the Safari settings, you want to click on the Extension tab, and from here, you should see a list of all of the extensions you have added. And in this case, the AdGuard extension has been downloaded to Safari and they are all ticked, which means they are all activated. As a side note, if you wish to uninstall an extension, you can do so by clicking on the extension you want to uninstall and then clicking the uninstall button next to it. So now the extension has been installed, we can start using our Safari web browser with the extension just as we normally would. So if this video is helpful, please leave a like, and if you have any questions or comments, you can leave them below.